Thank you. Um, do we have any uh, farmers in the audience tonight? Don't be shy. Okay, yeah, well, I, yeah, he is a farmer, that's right. He farm, but any, anybody who knows anything about the farm or has been anywhere near a farm would know that the, um, the male chicken is, has been placed on this earth for one reason and one reason only. There's going to be some pregnant pause. I'll give you some time to think about it. I know, I, I realize this is not exactly the Bible Belt, but, you know, so come down a little bit, all right? Okay. Stiff and spry, with a springy step and a jaunty plume and a purposeful look in his eye, in his little black blinking eye, he heard. I took him to the coop and introduced him to my seventeen wide-eyed hens. He took, then he took like a hero took, then he bowed to them all from the waist, and then he up, then he took them all again, he did. And then upon the piece of me ducks and me geese, he rudely did intrude. With glazed eyes and open mouth, they bought it all with fortitude, and a little bit of gratitude they did. He jumped my giggling guinea fowl and forced his attentions upon my twenty hysterical turkeys and a visiting migrant swan and the bantam thundered on he did. He ravished my fantail pigeons and me lily white columbines. And while I was locking up the budgery gar, he jumped my parrot from behind. She was sitting on me shoulder at the time. <laughs> Then all of a sudden, with a gasp and a gulp, he clasped his hands to his head, lay flat on his back with his toes in the air. My phantom cock lay dead, and the vultures circled overhead, they did. What a champion brute, what a noble cock, what a way to live and to die. I was digging him a grave to save his bones from the hungry buzzards in the sky when the bantam opened up a sly little lie. <laughs> he gave me a grin and a terrible wink the way that rapists do. He said, you see them big daft buggers up there? They'll be down in a minute or two. They'll be down in a minute or two. Thank you. Um, since it's been